Hello, my name is Laura Jansen, and I'm an assistant professor of pediatric neurology at Seattle Children's Hospital and the University of Washington. Malformations of brain development, such as focal cortical dysplasia, are a common cause of intractable epilepsy in children. Many of the anticonvulsant medications used unsuccessfully in the treatment of seizures due to this condition act by enhancing the action of inhibitory GABA-A receptors in the brain. Our research program has been investigating the normal postnatal development of GABAergic transmission in the human brain, as well as the disruption of this process in pediatric epilepsy due to focal cortical dysplasia. In this slide, we demonstrate that in normal human cortex, expression of the most common GABA-A receptor subunits is very low at birth, and then increases over the first several years of life before stabilizing through adolescence. Correspondingly, the relative expression of the cation chloride cotransporter NKCC1, which causes GABA-A receptor activation to have excitatory rather than inhibitory effects, is very high in neonates and infants. In contrast, in specimens obtained at surgery from children with intractable epilepsy due to focal cortical dysplasia, GABA-A receptor subunit and chloride cotransporter expression is highly variable, and the normal developmental patterns are lost. To summarize, in normal human cortex, neonates and infants display relatively low levels of GABA-A receptor subunits contributing to synaptic currents, as well as low levels of the chloride extruder KCC2. These findings suggest that GABAergic medications may not function optimally in this age group. The normal developmental pattern of GABA-A receptor subunit and cation chloride cotransporter expression is absent in children with intractable epilepsy due to focal cortical dysplasia. Instead, GABA-A receptor subunit and cation chloride cotransporter expression patterns in pediatric focal cortical dysplasia are highly variable but they do exhibit age and subtype-related trends, which indicates that targeted anticonvulsant therapies may be possible.